Let me see here. Well, today is Friday the 29th of July. Oh man, now we got the dogs barking as soon as we get out here. <laughs> the, the dog is there. They don't like it. They're barking. Yeah. The black dog. The yeah. Old dog, man. Well, up here? Yeah. Noisy as the owner. <laughs> So yeah, it's Friday the 29th of July. We uh, we are in a brownout right now. No power. So we're sitting out in our Kubo Say hi, Jay. with the dogs. It's a little cooler out here. So we don't we don't sit out here hardly ever. No. Only, usually during brownouts is when we come out here. Even so. we want to sit here. It's like every time in the afternoon raining. Thunder, lightning, yeah. and it's not good sitting here. Yeah. What, you don't like sitting out here in the rain? No, what I mean is there's a thunder and lightning. It's not not safe to sit in a cobo. Oh, yeah. Turn this around a little bit. Yeah, that's good. Try to get this camera this is situated here. We don't usually sit out here, so it's kind of... Yeah, I... I don't know why we don't sit out here more often. This is a nice Kubo. It's really nice. Because uh, sometimes once we sit outside, and then mostly we go outside in the afternoon. We, we go out in the afternoon yeah. doing something. How long is this? The brownout. How, how long is this one going for? Noon? 12? 12, but don't expect anything exactly 12 because they never... Yeah, they're always a little late. Mm. But I know I got up at 6.30 this morning and turned the air conditioner back on. And it seems like just a few minutes later it was off. So I'm guessing what the brownout started at seven, something like that. The brownout started at seven. Yeah. yeah. I'm awake when it's the. I feel it's so hot inside the room already. Yeah, it got hot real fast. Is this one of the dogs? Yeah, I gave Jam, but she doesn't like it. She don't like it. She's only playing with the game. Oh, okay. Yes. So we're getting ready to. She's married to hey. sing again. Uh oh. Nosy neighbor. Nosy neighbor dog. There you go. Put her up. Hi. <laughs> That's our this one. Kimchi. Wait, whose is this? Whose is this one? <laughs> Hello. You see, she bring out her head. Yeah. No see. Yeah. Let's see, one week from today, we will be sitting in Cebu. Mm -hmm. uh, sitting in Cebu. Running around. It's, it's my first time going to Cebu. Is it your first? Yeah, it is yeah, your first time. And then, can you imagine? I was born here in Philippines, born and grew up here in Philippines, and it's my first time going to Cebu. Well, it's your second time. But even though it's my second there. time, I didn't do anything my first time. Because that was. I just flew in there. 
And as soon as I flew, yeah, as soon as I flew into Cebu from the United States, or no, I went from Hawaii, yeah, Hawaii straight to Cebu. But once I got in Cebu, I was for, I was quarantined immediately. As soon as I left the airport, I went straight to the hotel, and that hotel wasn't even really in the city. Well, not really. It was in Mactan, so right right next to the airport, the riverfront or whatever it was called. And I stayed there for not even 48 hours, like 38, 40 hours, just just about six or eight hours shy of two days. So then I was on the plane headed for Manila. So, yeah, we, huh? My phone. You want to Erwin, Erwin is the one who Is it a group chat or is it a... Yeah, group chat. Yeah, we can, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> if uh, the crazy woman is that one, so. Yeah, anyways. No, we can't because we're, it's our moment. Right, Jam? Yep, we're just hanging out. Just hanging out in the Kubo during the brownout, so there's kind of really not much you can do about these things. They happen. And but then if I will risk, but what I like about this one, and, and most of them, is that they announce them on Facebook on mm -hmm. their on their uh, Penelco uh, Facebook page. You just got to pay attention to what they're what's. You just have to pay attention to Facebook. And then you'll know when these brownouts are going to occur. The, the longer ones, anyways, the ones that last, you know, whole day. Yeah, you know, half a day, whole day. They'll announce them on Facebook. Not that it makes it that much better, but it helps. Helps you get prepared mentally <laughs> more so than anything. But this one's only a half a day, so we didn't make any plans to go anywhere. Sometimes we'll, if it's going to be a full day, we'll. We'll get out of the house for the day and go somewhere. But this is, and hell, this one, seven to twelve. If you sleep in like I just did, you, you can sleep half of it away. And by the time you wake up, you're halfway through it. So, but I do that. I do that kind of intentionally sometimes. If I know there's a brownout, it's gonna be at like seven or eight in the morning. I'll make sure, you know, and then it's not gonna. Just then it's gonna go to like eleven or twelve. Then I'll try to sleep in as much as I can. Why not? There's no power in the house, might as well. Well, the room is still cold. Yeah. <laughs> you wake up in a puddle of sweat, though. It's like, oh, man, what the hell? <laughs> it powers out again. Jesus Christ. Just make sure you have load on your phone mm -hmm. if you want to do any web surfing. <laughs> Otherwise, you will growl, growl. Grr, yeah. Oh man. It's all fun it's doggy. all Panelco's fault if you don't have charts in your phone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dogs love sitting out here. They're like, oh goody goody goody, we're gonna go sit out in the Kubo again. Yay. Where's where's the other one? The, oh, ah, she's underneath. Because she cannot climb up here. She has no choice. So we went from two dogs or no, we went from one dog to two dogs here recently. So we got um, number, we got number two here back in what May twenty seventh. Yeah. So two months, two months. Oh, yeah. No, it's her two months to us. Exactly two months. Yeah. It was a Friday. We mm -hmm. took her. So Lord, look see. at her now. She's so big. Yeah, uh, she's a nut. She's a cute nut though. Her. She's a good girl. Both of them. Mm -hmm. Of course, this one knows I'm talking about. The other one, so she comes up. What about me, Daddy? What about me, Daddy? You're a good girl. This is a daddy's girl over here. You can't see her on the camera, but there's her nose. Black shiny nose. Black shiny nose. Just like your black shiny butt. Here, take your snack. See if daddy's the one give it to you you want. Yeah. See what's what else is happening? Going to Cebu, going to Cebu next week, next Thursday. Going to Cebu and eat lechon Cebu. Lechon, lechon. <laughs> we leave here Wednesday. We're gonna go down to Manila, bum around there for the night. Wake up Thursday morning, hop on a plane, get into Cebu. We're gonna go stay at our hotel, which in Cebu, which is going to be 
Prince, the, the Golden Prince. The Golden Prince. Golden Hotel. Prince Hotel. And we're gonna be there for five nights. So here I'm giving away the full itinerary so people know exactly what mm -hmm. we're doing. And wait for our, <coughs> no, excuse me. <coughs> wait for the update. Yeah. So we'll take a ton of pictures probably and a bunch of videos because well we've never really explored that area so we're gonna give it a shot. Let's see what's see what's going on out there. Ah oh, damn dogs. I thought that dog was over there. It's over here? As if we needed a new puppy in the neighborhood, really? How many dogs do we have now? You got at least three over there, right? Mm -hmm. It's better if you have the dog in your in your compound because you never know. Yeah, I suppose. They are the only one that can give the sign if they are they're intruders. So our oldest one is Jam Jam, and our she's she's the oldest, so she's three. Yeah. And then Kimshi is number two, and she's four months four months old. So she was putting up a lot of barking out, barking last night. She's barking on her ball. Right? What was she barking? She's barking on her ball out. Right? She's just barking at her ball. Yeah. You know that she had a weird, weird attitude. Yeah, I wish that dog would shut up. So anyways, we'll do five nights in Cebu, mm. and then we'll fly back yeah. when we fly back to Manila we'll and spend a, nights. spend a few nights, spend a few nights, three nights yeah. in Manila. Because for some other appointments, and then fly back home, or drive back home. Yeah, we have an appointment at the VA, or not, well, not really, an not really the, yeah, it's kind of the VA, yeah, it's an appointment. Oh, it's a drop-off appointment. God, shut up, dog. So we got an appointment at the VA to drop off some paperwork. To uh, We got to update the deers. And uh, we need, both of us need new ID cards. Hmm. Uh, retirement. I'm retired from the military, so I need a new, I should have a new ID card. Mine's, she's 17 years old. I got mine right when I retired, so... That was in 2005, so I need to get a new one and then we'll get her one as well. So we could take advantage of all those <laughs> military benefits we have here in the Philippines, which is pretty much zero. None. Gee, come here, baby. Come here. It'd be nice if Clark was still open. That'd be great. And Subic, both. I want to go to the, what is that again? At the island, Corregidor Island. Corregidor Island? Yeah. Uh, sadly, that one's closed. This is our kimchi. Hey, you. Kimchi. This one's just a big ball of fur. <laughs> but she's changing now. Not only the Jam, what are you doing? Fur. Yeah. <laughs> and you have a. Hold on a sec. Look at her messy hair. Huh? It's All right, I had to pause real quick there. The dog is making so much noise. It'll probably start barking again, I'm sure, but mm -hmm. whatever. It's a big one, so, so. so yeah, we'll yeah, there goes another one, geez. It's another thing about the Philippines. Dogs are everywhere and they bark all the time. And then a also. And including ours. <laughs> we're, we're just as guilty. Like I try to, I try to clobber my dogs when they get too obnoxious. Get them to shut up, but I don't like them doing this, doing that too much. But it's good, you know, when it's nighttime and you know there's strangers walking around. What the? But just barking just to bark? Nah, I don't know. No. Yeah, what do you think you're doing? You She's very sneaky. Once we yeah. open the screen door. She can go that. She can go in in seconds. That yeah. you will never ever notice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're king of the. You're king of the house. Yes, you are. Or queen, I should say. Donia. Donia. Good puppy. 
She's a really good dog. She's awesome. Oh, yeah. We had some growing pains in the beginning. When I first got over here two years ago, she... She contracted a uh, kennel cough. Well, no, there was an adjustment period for when I came into the house. Uh -huh. She wasn't ready. I don't know if she was quite ready for Another me. <laughs> Cause because she was... She only stays with me. And then if I, something like she, she get used to it, only mommy is with her. So when daddy can arrive, she's so tame. Mm -hmm. But then just a few days, right? Yeah. It is that uh, she may go with you and then she become your, uh, you become her best friend. She's more closer than, she's more closer to you than me. Yeah. More than me. Until now, even daddy's calling her because of food. Well, I think she was testing me to see who was going to be the dominant figure, the alpha, so to speak. Mm -hmm. She even, so, she even pooped on daddy's She pooped on my pooped. bed. She, I mean, seriously. She, I mean, it's just really bizarre behavior. This is my, maybe she, as she said, maybe she thinks that you're only staying there for a while. Yeah. And then she's, uh, she mark her territory because that is her place when, uh, when uh, you haven't get home. Oh, no. When you haven't get home, she yeah. sleep with me in, in our bedroom and then. That is her. That's her side of the, side bed. Of the bed. Yeah. Yeah. So I go to sit on the bed on my side. After taking uh, a shower. Yeah, I think it was right after. Yeah, right after I took a shower because I, you know, whatever, putting my drying off, doing whatever I was doing, and I go to sit on the bed and whoosh. Yeah, like sure. I said, like I was sitting in a freaking water puddle. I was like, what the heck is going on, man? I look up and it's piss. And I, oh man, I freaking went through the roof. I was so, well lack of better terms, pissed. <laughs> so yeah, that happened twice. Mm -hmm. The second time I she, beat her ass. She I, mean, get, I put her no, she for, uh, Eric forgave her, forgave her for the first one, but then the, she may, she did it another one for the second time. So after yeah. that, she can panic, stay outside the kitchen, the, the dirty kitchen. Well, the first time I figured it was an accident. Hey. The first time I figured it was an accident, the second time I was like, this is no accident. She's, mm -hmm. she's pushing her, she's pushing her boundaries. So that's when I laid into her and, and uh, she, ever since then, boy, she, her whole attitude changed. Mm -hmm. I mean, she didn't just stop peeing in the house, which I'm glad, you know, glad she's she didn't do that anymore, that. but she was, it was kind of like one of those things. She's like, okay, now I, now I get it. Now I know who the head of the house is, I, I'm, and I'm not it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna, you know, you know, dogs are pack animals. They're gonna test to see who's gonna be the leader of the pack. Mm -hmm. And I guess she was testing to see whether she was gonna be the leader of the pack, and well. She uh, failed. She failed. <laughs> <laughs> she got caught, and then we bring her inside, we, we punish her, and then both, <clears throat> bought the gate. Yeah, bought her, yep. Mm -hmm. And it took me a long time to to start coming around her again. I mean, I was just like, I ignored her. I, I would just, you know, she had to go outside. I would take her out. I'd feed her or do whatever, you know, do the, ba I'd just do the basic uh, dog owner type things, but I didn't really show her any affection or pet her or any but of that. She never changed. About, I would say about three months I did that. Just gave her the, basically gave her the cold shoulder. And then, uh, well, it's getting kind of dark in here, isn't it? Because so, it's uh, So I basically just gave her the cold shoulder. And, she, and then eventually we both kind of came around again and started, started hugging and loving each other. Yeah, I reckon it's probably gonna rain again today. Kinda. It looks pretty overcast. Mm -hmm. At least over that way. Yeah. No? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe. So yeah, we had a good one yesterday. And it rained before 
but noon, the thing which is, is they make our they make our ground multi. You know? Oh yeah, we got a cement pad out here in our in our compound. Yeah, uh, the yep. it's all algae. Mm -hmm. Because we got well, part of the reason is we have a lot of shade here, mm -hmm. guava trees and and mango trees over here. It's a very shady area, which is nice. But when it rains and the water collects on the uh, the concrete out here, and then you don't get any sun on there to bake it off. I'm not a chemical engineer, so I don't know everything but <laughs> about this stuff, but the uh, algae forms on the concrete when you don't uh, and we, cannot, have the uh, we cannot put the baking soda because of kimchi. Yeah. We never had any problem about jam before when we, uh, when we put the baking soda on the ground because jam jam knows what is good and what is bad for her. Yeah. But kimchi is still... I don't know if how big her head, uh, how big her brain now. Yeah. <laughs> she's kind of, you know, Kim. She's she. When you look at her, she looks kind of dense. <laughs> Duh, you know, kind of. She looks kind of dumb. She kind of acts kind of dumb. But she's very smart, very shrewd when it comes to sneaky things. When it comes to being sneaky and being a bad girl, she's very smart. Yeah. Like she's an ultimate escape artist. She can did, get. She can get. Out. She's like a Houdini. Huh? Did she take? Did she ate her? What is it? Her I think so. I gave it to her. She's asking another one. Oh no! There's one here. Oh, Daddy gave you one. This is this one. Oh. You want mommy to cut it? Okay. She doesn't want to eat the no. whole one because she know that when she buy the bigger, bigger size. Yeah. Jam Jam have a very sensitive immune system because of her about her blood. Mm. Something like that. She have a very low red blood. Oh and yeah. Low low plate, uh, plate low platelets. Yeah. Since Patty, which uh, she get it from her mom according to the vet. Really? And then, when we bring her for her, after she have been spayed, and then she have some infection on her surgery, we bring her in her old, old vet clinic. But that, but that the happen is what happened is she's not even there for 24 hours, and then she contracted a, a, what is that kennel cough that yeah. makes her sick for the whole, almost two years. Yeah. On her, right now she's just uh, on a state of recovering. Yeah, we brought her to one of the vet. Yeah. Brought her to the one of the vets here in town, and she was never the same after. Mm -hmm. we, we, she was there for, like I said, overnight. And I don't even know why we let her stay there overnight. What the heck? Just, they said they have to inspect her, monitor her, or monitor something. And then when we bring her home, she's not. She's not okay already. No. Yeah, that was a lesson learned, boy. I tell you, let Whatever. her stay. Let her stay overnight at that vet, and then the ne the next day, and for many days, still, even to this day, she still isn't the same. As long as you can take <clears throat> your pet, if they are sick, bring them home. Don't right. let them stay in stay in a vet clinic or what in, in a grooming thing, yeah. because. You never know, even though they sterilize and clean the kennels that they are using for the other dogs. Yeah. You never know if it's totally clean or not. Jam yeah. Jam is so, she's a very, even though she's uh, fighting for her immune system, she's very, very active dog. Yeah. She is, but then, since she got that, uh, she got that illness, she will never be the same. Yeah. Well, there goes that stupid motor mouth dog again. Mm -hmm. Puppy. Because. Yeah. You can see her healthy, but sometimes if you get, that's why until now I'm feeding her. Nobody can feed her. If somebody else will feed her, I need to give them the, the, the right instruction. What's going on? And then the right food that she needs to eat. Because she cannot eat the 
hard one like dog food like that. Yeah. She needs to eat soft. She's on soft diet. Always been that way with her. Mm -hmm. She's kind of a high maintenance dog. Mm -hmm. Hey, hush. And like kimchi that you know in Taga in Filipino swak swak she can eat anything. No. <laughs> <laughs> whatever she whatever she get in her mouth <laughs> not even a minute <laughs> yeah she's a crazy one that's why she grows from uh, from uh, 3.8 kilos when we get her yeah. when we just get her two months ago yeah. now she's almost eight kilos maybe uh. because they maybe on monday she yeah. might be more or less eight kilos already or just eight kilos because when i take she will have her. She will get her her anti rabies vaccine tomorrow uh, on uh, on Monday, and then John John will get her her kennel cough vaccine. Wow. So hey, sh they will knock it off, guys. Come up here, Jam. Jam, just get up here and mind your here. own. Come up here, Jam. Here. Hey, Kimchi, mind your own. You know already how pain that Ate will. Fight. Lay the smack down, won't you, Jam? Come here, Kims. Come Both here. of them will get their vaccine on Monday. Wait. Both of them? Yeah. So we need to go both of us. Uh, I'll carry Kimchi and you'll carry Jam Jam. Oh, great. I get this one, huh? Mm. No. It's hard to hold her when it's this hot out. Yeah, that's it's why because it's like putting a blanket on. You have to carry jam. Uh, no, I'm saying even like not right now. Yeah, Just holding yeah. holding kimchi is very warm. I mean, because her her fur is like a like a jacket like or a rag. <laughs> it's for, like putting on a mink winter. coat. <laughs> yeah, that's why I, sometimes is I don't really want to hold her because she's just so freaking warm. Oh yeah, that's a good girl. She's a very loving puppy, that's for sure. My brother will come and take care of them. Okay, good girl. Jam Jam knows <clears throat> Danny already, so she might not. And then, and then, 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 she knows them. Be so. good girl. Yeah. So, for sure. There you go. Just sit down, relax. Fine. Yep. Because <clears throat> we'll be gone for about 10 days. We gotta figure out what we're gonna do in Cebu. We have so, there are so many tourists uh, I spot there, so go for it. Yeah. <laughs> Guess we'll just kind of no, fly we'll by see. the seat of our pants, huh? Uh -huh? We'll just fly by the seat of our pants. I still say we um, get to know a taxi driver, real, mm -hmm. you know, and then hire him. For, day. for the day and have them drive us around. Yeah, Taxi like drivers, them. they'll do it. They will. Pay them 2500 or whatever. I think mm -hmm. the one in Baguio we did four years ago. 2500 and he brought us everywhere. We he, and, then, and then the thing is, he's that's a good That's friendly. a good payday for them. Yeah, he was yeah. really friendly. Mm -hmm. Gave us detailed explanations as to what everything was. Okay, this is what this is, blah, 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 blah. And then next... <clears throat> We didn't even really have to tell him where to go. He just, he, we just, asked he knew. He knew exactly what the, to do, where to go. The only one thing that we didn't go is when, because the rain pour heavy when we're already in uh, Tamawan village. Yeah. This is where uh, we cannot go there because the place is very slippery. Especially if you go on the upper, upper part of the village. Yeah. It's not easy. It's not safe. So we back off the hotel. Hotel or at the, in SM, we drop by, we drop off in hot. In I think he uh, dropped us off at SM. SM. Yeah, he did. Yeah. And it was kind of rainy that day, wasn't it? It is. That's why we did that. Yeah. We should be going <coughs> to. Yeah. Yeah. That is our last destination that day. Yeah, he uh, dropped us off at SM, home. and we went in there and had Dairy Queen and <laughs> bummed around, and then we went back to the hotel room. Mm -hmm. If I remember right, that's how we did it. Yeah. So you really think about it. We did that. We hooked up with a taxi driver in Baguio. And then we even know a taxi driver in Manila. Mm, Oli. Yeah, Oli. I wonder how. You can, can you check in so, your well, phone Yeah, books? later. I'll try and see. So, 
So we have a taxi driver, and we actually have one here too in Dagupan. Mm -hmm. He's friends with us on Facebook. Very friendly <laughs> also. Very nice. Former, yeah, so we, a former NBI officer. Yeah. Can he, you imagine that? Uh, he is the one who offered us if we wanted to go and take an NBI clearance, and then, and then it happens that Eric needs one copy of NBI clearance for the immigration, and then he said, "Let's go." He's driving that. He never even yeah. asked us yep. if we're going to do it today or not uh, to, uh, on that very moment or not and then he just g he just drive us in there in the immigration office in the yep. Gopan and then I remember that yeah go down straight away inside the office yeah he took it we were we were riding we were riding with him and mm -hmm. he's like is there anything you want to do before we leave the Gupan or something mm -hmm. or do you just want to go straight home to Alaminos we we're like well and I just kind of mentioned it and I was like well what did I say? I said we something about it. I can't remember if we were to we have, picking, but picking we need up to go, and uh, maybe we're coming, but we need the NBI clearance. She said, but that's we would already turned in all the information we needed to. Yeah. We had already visited NBI, mm -hmm. and then we said something like, "Well, we're processing we're processing uh, an M, uh, NBI clearance for me because you know immigration wanted an renewal. NBI clearance, a renewal." And he's like, well, "Oh." Let's so he, he turned right, he, like we, he was gonna, he was supposed to turn left Instantly. to go back to Manila, or not Manila, uh, Alaminos. And he's like, oh, let's, well, we'll head over there. We'll head over to MBI then. And then he takes a right, he drives right over and he jumps out and everybody's looking at him. As soon as we get out of the van, everybody's, or out of the taxi, everybody's looking at him, showing him all kinds of respect and everything. And I was like, Dude, who is this guy? The mayor or something or what? Even, well, it turns uh, out he's retired from the place, NBI, and he even asked us to go inside, which is not supposed to uh, be. I know, and he's bringing us through all these back rooms like he's a freaking like he's the boss, man. I was like, like, like he's the head honcho there, but everybody's showing him all kinds of respect and oh hey, sir, you know, blah blah blah. I'm like, dude, man, we just made a really cool friend here, I guess. And then he's connected. Yeah. He asked someone else, and then image instantly they asked Eric to sit and take a photo. Yeah, yeah, he 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 like fast tracked that thing for us. I mean, it was like boom, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. Got it, pushed it right through. You know, because otherwise it could have been who who knows how many days before they would have gotten, you know, before they would have processed it. But he brought us out there, and he just like I said, he fast tracked everything, got everything moving, boom, 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 boom. So and you know, good you thing just. Is, He's 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 the one who go and pick up also, and then just uh, he, he just contact uh, he just contacted me and Eric's uh, MBI clearance is uh, is ready. Yeah. Are you go? Uh, do you want me to bring there in Alamino? She even asked. Yeah. <laughs> he even asked. He's gonna hand mm. hand deliver that thing to us. So so that you know. Just, it just goes to show you, you don't, when you meet people, you don't know who the heck they are. Or it's, I mean, I always, I'm, I always follow the same policy. Courtesy is, courtesy's number one policy and for everyone, because, you know, you, you meet someone, you don't know who, oh, yeah. who they are, where they come from, what their, you know. <laughs> Still, what their connections you are, are very careful about meeting someone yeah yeah exactly because we don't know them but it just so happens that yeah. the taxi he, driver is a retired mbi guy and he introduced and, himself yeah mm. and that was it was pretty cool meeting up with him <clears throat> and he's still there you know if i guess if we ever needed or, or mm -hmm. i shouldn't if we ever needed him for anything he would he would help us out yeah. but I'm ready for some more coffee. Okay. Some more? Another round for you? Sure. Jam Jam is shedding. No is wonder she? she's not she's not so active lately. Let's hold on. Oh, more coffee, more coffee. I will do it for you. Oh! Got the coffee. More coffee. And we got a low battery. That's oh. what that blinking was. All right, well, I guess that's that then. We got a low battery, and this thing will shut off here pretty quick, I'm sure. And it's raining now. And it's raining now. So, anyways, our brownout is just about through. It's reached its, it's almost reached its uh, deadline, according to what they told us on Facebook. So, we'll see. Yeah. 30 minutes more to go. 30 minutes more to go, so we'll see what happens.
But anyways, we'll remain out here until they turn the power back on. And it's starting to drizzle, starting to rain a little bit. So stay out here with the puppies. The two knuckleheads. The two knuckleheads. What is this? You got it's like part of that, I think. Anyways, guys, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up. I'll let you go. Just thought we would sit out here and chit chat a little bit. So, <laughs> what are you doing, Kimchi? <laughs> Some weird dogs. What are you doing? Oh man, wish me luck, guys. Okay, we'll talk later. Take care, everyone. Taking care of this. Take dog. care. Take care. Especially at night. Take next care time. of yourself. Take care of your loved ones. Be good to each other, Especially. and we'll talk to you soon. What's that, huh? I said. It's taking care of them at daytime and nighttime is different, you know, because at daytime they can just go and pee by themselves. But in at nighttime before they go to bed, they need to pee first. But they have to play first before they pee. Oh, yeah, they're like kids. They're like kids. They're not much different. They got their snack time. Vitamins. They, they take their vitamins. I spend my half of my night with them. <laughs> Before I need to take another, I need to make my, my house chores, yeah. taking a shower, I need to set up them first, going to bed. Yeah. So. We need to get, oh, not to change the subject, we need to get ready to, to go here soon. We need to go to the ATM, okay. pull some cash. Okay. We're going to need it. So, I think the exchange rate is what, 55, 56 today? 56 today. Is it 56 today? I will, I will show Let's you. Let's check before we get out of here. We ain't got much time. This battery's ready to go, hon. Stay straight. Drum roll. Just my calculator now. What do you need your calculator for? The exchange rate here. Updating. You should just say. Remember, it's in the 55.2486. 55.2486. So it went down from 56 something yeah, to 55. Yesterday. So it went down a full peso, pretty much. Mm -hmm. I think. Around 15, 56.14, blah, blah, blah. The other day, yeah, so it's slowly going down, but I, I don't know, I've been, I've been watching predictions and I don't think it's going to go back to, I hope it doesn't. But my, anyways. My calculator and exchange rate are all in the... In